Morning, everybody. Um, as you can see, I didn't even bother putting on makeup. I lied and said I was going to. I apologize for that, but it's just so early. And I want my coffee. I don't want to go in the mirror and be like, blah, 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 blah. I'm beautiful. Watch me drink coffee. You don't care what I look like, right? I hope not. Um, so today we're going to do the mint chocolate chip ice cream. Um, Nina said I should try this one first, so I'm going to try this one first. And I have super high hopes about this because my friends know I, A, love mint chocolate chip ice cream and I pretty much existed on it at Ren Fair every year. And, um, add 10 pounds of sprinkles to that. It was basically a cup of sprinkles with, I needed to, to like cut it. So I put some mint chocolate chip ice cream in there. Um, and... So I'm excited to try it. I'm going to smell it. I opened it, but I didn't smell it because I waited for you guys because I'm excited. So let's see. It smells like mint. And I definitely smell a little chocolate in there. It doesn't smell like mint chocolate chip ice cream, but it smells like like um peppermint mocha from Starbucks. Mmm. Dare I say I'm excited about this one? I was excited about this one because the maple bacon was the first one I was excited about. And the mint chocolate chip was the second one. So I'm hoping this one has a better reaction than the maple bacon. Which, by the way, edit. Um, later on, like after I'd finished the cup, I had like a bacony, like I, I ate bacon kind of aftertaste, which wasn't bad. But I didn't taste it while I was drinking the coffee. So let's see. Let's try this out. I'm going to go brew it. So I'll be back. So I'm back. Oh, I didn't know I pressed play. <laughs> so I'm back. I'm brewing it now. But I just want to say one thing. Bones Coffee Company. I love you. Um, those bags, I understand they need to be vacuum sealed. I get it. Because I want my coffee fresh when it comes to me. But... The narrow opening, it can you make the opening like a little bigger or like a hole that I could just pour it out into my spoon or my K-cup thingy because I put the spoon in to put it in my K-cup thing and let me tell you, it hit the little lip of the like Ziploc thingy and coffee grounds just went flying everywhere, all over the counter, the floor. I'm sure there's some in the cat's hair. I don't know. Oh, Leo. If you followed me the first time, Leo's over it. He's like a year and almost a month now. So um, right now he's just being a cat and he doesn't want to be in my face anymore. So I'll eventually show him to you. Maybe next video I'll try and show him. But right now he's off doing cat things. So let's smell this. I smell a light chocolate chip minty. I smell a light mint flavor. I don't smell like chocolate but my nose is also a little stuffy because I just woke up um smell it again it smells like coffee with a light mint god I need to do my eyebrows you get older eyebrows start like thinning I gotta crayon them in I'll do that next video all right, I think we're done brewing. It smell I smell like a light mint. It's not like it doesn't smell like anything. It smells like a light mint. I don't taste anything. It smells more minty than it tastes. I notice a lot with this brand of coffee. You don't get the taste at first. Right now it just tastes like a cup of coffee. Um, I'm going to put the almond milk in it. But, you know, like as I'm finishing the cup of coffee, like when I'm done, like a couple minutes when my cup is finished... I taste it. Right now, it just tastes like black coffee. It doesn't taste... I put almond milk in it right now, so let's see. It 
it's so subtle. I guess you don't want like an overpowering peppermint tasting thing. I'm used to like, you know, when you get a peppermint mocha from Starbucks or Dunkin' and they put the syrup in it so you get that like syrupy strong flavor. That's not like this. It's a very subtle minty flavor. It's good. It's delicious. It's delicious. But I'm expecting it to taste like a chain peppermint mocha and it doesn't do that. It's very subtle. I personally don't like flavored coffees first thing in the morning because they tend to irritate my stomach but um this doesn't I've been excited to do these first thing in the morning and I usually don't do that I drink I drink Bustelo first thing in the morning so you know I'm hardcore um I okay it smells so pepperminty mocha right now I'm not disappointed. I'm not. I actually really like the subtle taste. If in the beginning I was expecting that pow peppermint mocha taste because but it's not syrup, so I have to remember that. So if you go with the mindset of a subtle nice pepperminty mocha flavor, this is really good. I I I like this. I really like this um a lot. I think this is probably, I'm going to say so far, this is my favorite one. Yeah, I'm going to say that. I'm going to stake that claim. Mint chocolate chip invasion is my favorite one. And now that I waited a couple minutes, I taste it. I taste the peppermint and I taste the mocha. It's good. I like it. Nina, Nina, you need to buy it. It's good. Okay, you know what? I give this a 9 out of 10. And I don't give it the 10 out of 10 because <laughs> that narrow opening on the on the bag just made me fling coffee grounds all over the floor and myself. And yeah, so now I got to go clean it up. But I'll do that after I finish my coffee. All right, so next week I have either the Highland Grog which is caramel and butterscotch, which hmm, I'm going to do that first because I love butterscotch and I love caramel. So let's watch me be disappointed by that. And then I have French toast and then I have um, coconut rum. So then I think I'm going to start mixing flavors because I was thinking about that. Maybe I'll do like the, um, the, um, like the French toast and the maple bacon. Oh, if I mix that together. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm going to do start doing mixing. Maybe I can finally find something to mix with that peanut butter and jelly because Lord help me, I still have a little left. Um, all right. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Nine out of ten for the mint chocolate chip invasion. If you're going to buy one. I totally suggest that. I think I'm going to get the big bag of that. So, all right, guys. See you next week.